previously on Spinelli Speaks. Today we're going to be making part two of our rapid review of John Steinbeck's East of Eden. <music> Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another day of my 31 days of book reviews and I am super excited because I have made this super interactive. So in yesterday's video you had a choice between two books which was um, either Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez or Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield and I tallied all of the votes and drumroll! We chose Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. So I will let you know what the next two book options are towards the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned and make your selections for tomorrow's book review. So let's get into Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. Now I read this as a buddy read with Angie over at Science Mama. And I have to tell you, if you have not yet had the opportunity opportunity to buddy read a book with somebody, make sure you do because it makes the book so much better. And especially if a book starts to kind of go off kilter for you and you're like, geez, I don't know if I really want to finish this book. When you're buddy reading with someone else, you feel more of an obligation and you kind of strengthen your resolve of like, I should really just read this book. And thank goodness we did because I will say the beginning of this book, there are a ton of characters introduced. Like a ton. There are really small chapters, but each chapter is about a different person in this village. So I would say the first like almost half of the book, your mind is just everywhere and you're not quite sure like where is this book going? So as a buddy read, it really made me like stick with it and read it to the end. If I had been reading this on my own, I may have set it down. That said, while I got to the end of the book, it did get a lot better and there were some things that I totally was like, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Um, but there were other things that I was like, whoa, didn't see that coming. Uh, so essentially what this book is about is it opens up with this small English pub where uh, stories are told. So it's very much, um, you know, taking that storytelling element and really diving the reader right into that kind of idea. And in this pub, one night, one stormy night, uh, a man crashes through the door with a young girl and she is presumably dead. However, she comes to, and I, when I say comes to, I mean she like comes back to life. Um, and there are several people who claim her as their own. There are like three individuals um, one, a couple who had lost their child like two years prior, um, a man who um, was estranged from his wife and they had a child very similar in age and the wife had just recently drowned herself, and then another woman who believed it was her young sister but from like 20 years ago, so that was weird. <laughs> But anywho, um, as you read, you kind of go through each of these people's stories and figure out why they think that this child is theirs. Um, and the mystery is like, who is this child? She doesn't speak. She kind of is just very amicable. She kind of goes with whomever, you know, takes her in. Um, she's, she's very odd. Uh, so it's very hard to figure out like, who is this child? And then we have um, a lot of elements of almost, I would say, magic realism just sprinkled in just a little bit um, and there's some folklore in there. I don't know why that came out so weird. I apologize. Um, there's a lot going on. So if you are one of those readers who like needs a really set um, linear path, 
this book might be a little difficult because there's so much going on. There are so many characters involved and there's characters that you're going to really like and there's going to be characters that you really don't like. So all in all, I think we gave this maybe like a three to a four star just because it was very interesting. The plot was very interesting, you know, trying to figure out all of these people's, you know, past lives and present lives and how they uh, relate to this young girl and, you know, where their endings happen to go, um, which I feel like they, she does a really good job of wrapping up everybody's ending, which is awesome. So it really feels like a story is being told. Um, but like I said, if you're one of those people that are like, oh, there's way too much going on, this might be a little bit of a difficulty for you. Um, but if you like a lot going on, you like storytelling, you like mystery and um, a little bit of magical realism, it is a fantastic read. So I highly recommend if you are interested in that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's all I really have to say about that because I don't want to give too much away. I don't like spoilers myself. So if you're interested in reading this and you want a little bit more information, go ahead and hit me up in the comments. But also don't forget to go in the comments and vote on our uh, book review for tomorrow. And the um, selection for tomorrow is going to be two books um, that I've read. Um, one very recently actually um, and one I also did as a buddy read. So the first selection that you'll be able to vote on is The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. Um, so this is The Little Paris Bookshop. So go ahead and if you're interested in hearing a review on this book, go ahead and vote on that in the comments below. And then because it's Jane Austen July, I have uh, started my Jane Austen reading. So I have this little gem of a book. Um, it's called Young Jane Austen Becoming a Writer by Lisa oh, Polisco. That little book there, really tiny little book. Um, this is a nonfiction read. So if you're interested in hearing about this book, go ahead and vote in the comments. Would you rather um, see my Young Jane Austen review or The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George? So those are your two selections for tomorrow. Go ahead and let me know if that is what you are interested in and I will do a review. Well, until next time, I hope you all are reading something great, taking care and staying safe. And until next time, you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye.